Well, they've done it, folks. The mad scientists at UC Berkeley and some shadowy Japanese lab have cracked open your skull without even touching it. Scientists just built an AI that can basically read your mind. That's right, guys. Scientists have just released an AI that can crack open your brain and spill out your thoughts like a grocery list. They're calling it mind captioning. And it's not some lab toy. It's barreling towards us, ready to turn your silent dreams into typed out confessions. If you think your browser history is bad, just wait until they get a hold of what's really bouncing around in there. I warned that they were working on this years ago in my video, New Thought Police Tool. AI mind reading produces video of human thoughts in real time and mind reading AI recreates what you're looking at. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, here we are one year later and now this new AI can read your mind and print out your thoughts. So how does this monster work? Well, here's the crazy part because it's both genius and terrifying at the same time. Researchers from UC Berkeley and Japan's NTT Communication Science Lab fed an AI beast over 2000 short video clips. It scans through them, pairing every single flash of action with captions like dude jumps off a cliff, or cat knocks over a vase. The AI then spits out meaning signatures, digital fingerprints of what your eyes just gobbled up. Then, and here's the gut punch. They hook up volunteers to a massive MRI scanner, make them watch the same clips, and then map those brain fireworks to the signatures. And so now they can point this brain decoder to fresh new brain scans, and it guesses what you are seeing. Not just something happening, but full sentences. In one test, someone watches a guy jumping off of a roaring waterfall, and the AI's first go at it, spring flow. Close, but not quite close enough. A few tweaks later, and the AI says, a person jumps over a deep waterfall on a mountain ridge. It nailed it. And get this, from a hundred possible videos, it gets the right one 50% of the time, half the time. That's not a glitch. That's a gateway to your gray matter. And they're already dreaming up applications for this, like helping the paralyzed communicate through thinking. Sounds noble, right? Until you realize who's defining communications? Who decides what thoughts are worth decoding? And what happens when they skip the MRI machine? Because mark my words, that's coming next. Portable neuro taps, apps that read your vibes while you doom scroll. Earlier this year, I told you our phones are reading our minds. We all know that our phones are listening to us 24 seven and we are constantly being shown ads for things that we've talked about needing or wanting while around our phone. Well, now the phones are capable of reading our thoughts by using non-invasive technology that can interpret our brain waves. In this video, Dan Dix of Press for Truth covers this emerging technology that is slowly but surely robbing us of our mental privacy. The guy who dropped this bomb on nature says that it only works on visual stuff that you've cooperated on. No private thoughts. Really? Nobody has shown you can do that yet. Yet, he says. That's code for give us funding and we'll own your subconscious by Christmas. Guys, we've let them build the internet. We let them wire our homes. We let them turn our pockets into tracking devices. And now they're knocking on the door to your soul. Mind captioning isn't progress. It's a Trojan horse for total control. A world where thinking the wrong thoughts gets you flagged, canceled, or worse. They're not helping the paralyzed. They're paralyzing all of us one brain scan at a time. So what do we do? We fight back now before it's too late. Refuse the scan every time. MRI volunteers, more like paid chumps feeding the monster. Tell every lab, hospital, and tech bro, you touch my neurons and I sue. Share this video, guys. Scream it from the rooftops and stop willingly using this technology. Because if we don't, They'll caption your rebellion before you even think it.
Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments section below. Are we still early enough to fight this? Or is your brain already on the chopping block? Let me know what you think. And if you would like to help save and protect Press for Truth moving forward, please check out this Give, Send, Go campaign. Help save and protect Press for Truth. Because I need your help to make Press for Truth the best it can be. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Or follow me, depending on wherever you happen to be watching this video. Click that like button. Leave a comment, share the video, and stay tuned, guys. I'm going to have more video reports coming soon, God willing. This is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. We all want truth. truth. The truth will set you free. free, free.